<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, welcome back. I do apologize for the horrible sounding screech right there, but I am still sick. But that's not going to stop us from making some reactions. So today, we are going to be reacting to Mortal Kombat 1, the official Omni-Man first look gameplay trailer. So, this is where, uh, to provide a little bit of context on my experience with Mortal Kombat, I, in general, hate fighting games. I don't really like them. I don't like the controls that they use. I don't like the, uh, way the games feel for the most part. The only fighting games I really like and I've ever tried are Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which was alright. I, I really like the comboing with the switching characters in and out stuff. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, which a lot of people don't even consider a fighting game. Uh, and Project L, which is Riot Games' newest fighting game that is coming out God knows when and won't have the name Project L. But uh, those are basically the three kind of experiences or things about fighting games that I personally know. I've tried all the other ones. I've tried Street Fighter. I've tried Tekken. I've tried... Um, I don't think I've tried King of Fighters. Uh, if that's even the right name for it. But uh, in terms of fighting games, I'm not really that much into it. Now, however, this is where for Mortal Kombat specifically, even though I don't really like the game, Mortal Kombat, everyone knows it. Everyone knows the fatalities. And for the most part, it's very old. So a lot of people in a way grew up with this or at least know of it, right? The fatalities are, you know, famous enough, but this is where the story itself is also pretty good. I mean, if you're big enough to get a anime adaptation, or not anime, it, well, yeah, though, there is an anime of Mortal Kombat as well, but when you're big enough to not only get an anime, but a live action movie, you're pretty fucking big. So this is where, this is not a surprise to me that Omni-Man was coming. We know Omni-Man is coming, we know Homelander is coming. And Mortal Kombat typically... I don't know if they were the first ones to do it, but they were pretty early on in terms of the people who added cameos into their game. I remember in the older Mortal Kombats, they had Freddy Krueger, they had, I think Jason was in there, I'm not too sure. They had, well, well actually, they made a whole Injustice one, but, you know, same same creators, different game. But, um, they basically had a lot of, uh, I think they had the Xenomorph, actually, too, if, if I remember correctly. They had a lot of cameos, they had a lot of licensed uh, tie-ins. Now, this is where they were pretty early on to do it, and this is where it's no surprise that these two are coming, because I've known about them. I I've been around the block. I'm on the internet. But I haven't seen anything about their gameplay and stuff, so I thought, what better way to react to it, because this is a big advertisement for my Twitch channel, Twitch TV Sus Technic channel, where you could come live and watch me and speak with me and see me do rollies with games that are completely unrelated to this. But anyway, Let's see Omni-Man. I very much like Omni-Man in terms of uh, Invincible. I actually really, really like Invincible. I think Omni-Man is so cool. He's my favorite fucking character in it. Although all I've seen is season one. But I fucking love Omni-Man. And the fact that Homelander is in here and Homelander is going to, in some matches, you know, because people fight each other, beat Omni-Man, I think is a complete joke. Because lore-wise, Omni-Man shits on Homelander. Excuse me. And Homelander is a man-child. So, um, even though I like Homelander 2, to an extent, I think Omni-Man is the fucking boss. I love Omni-Man. Anyway, let's check out what he's gonna do in Mortal Kombat. I'm assuming it's gonna be bloody, gruesome, and very cool. You have to oh, oh, and one more thing. One more thing before we, uh, start this. The lore of Mortal Kombat, I just gotta say, I'm not too into it. And again, this is where Mortal Kombat has been around for a really long time. This is where... I think, from what I know, because I, I tune into the Mortal Kombat lore every so often, every here and there. This shit has gotten so ridiculous. And it's the same thing I say about comics, where I say if comics go long enough, your favorite character is going to be the strongest person in the verse. They're going to turn from good to evil. They're going to be both good and evil at certain points. The strongest in the universe, in their dimension. And it's just going to get ridiculous because after a certain point, if something sticks around and they keep trying to add to it, they're going to go into ridiculous territory. And this is where, you know, slight spoilers, or I don't even know if it's spoilers, but in the Mortal Kombat lore at this point, they're fighting different versions of themselves that are good and evil from across the multiverse. And it's like, okay, this is where we're at now. This is the ridiculousness. It used to just be one universe, these fighters, 
somewhat grounded in reality but not really and now it's just like ridiculous universe fighting we have to stop the flow of time to create like branched universe bullshit where you literally have characters like Liu Kang and Shang Tsung getting all the other characters from all the other dimensions that have also you know had their perfect life in that dimension and have become gods and it's like what the fuck is going on anymore they, like they had to reboot the series but is this a reboot because you're still going back to the old shit it's like what the fuck but it's pretty ridiculous and I like it. And Mortal Kombat knows what it is. It's ridiculous. And, it, you know, it's pretty funny with it too. So it's not too much of a complaint. It's just like, God damn, we're really here. But anyway, after the five minute long intro and advertisement for my Twitch stream where later on today I'm going to be rolling for gotcha characters in Star Rail and Genshin. Let's actually see Omni-Man. Let's go. Yeah, I'm still sick. Yeah. You have destroyed worlds. Oh. I have erased is that Shang Sun? Finally, oh, oh it's Luke Kang. Dude, look at Omni-Man. Oh, oh my. Oh, shit. Yo, Omni-Man don't need no ally. Oh, God. Jeez, is he even grab you and flinch you like the Hulk? Oh, oh, God. He's doing what he did to Mark. Claim this timeline for the Viltrum Empire. Oh, my God. For the sensation. Bro, that's so funny. The character interactions are so good too. Oh, he just dodged it. Oh my god, he grabbed his spine! No, no, not the train, not the train. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Look at him, look at Mr. Nolan. Oh my god, is that his name, Mr. Nolan? I forgot what they call him in the show, like... I know, I know Invincible's name is, I think, Mark. Fuck, I forgot what Omni-Man's name is, shit, I only know him as Omni-Man, that's how long it's been. But, oh my god, that was actually so fucking good. That was so good because they took so many, like, callbacks to the show in terms of how people die. It's so fucking funny. Like, they had the train one. They had the one where he's squishing the guy's head, which was, um... Yeah, I don't want to say too many spoilers, but it was in the first episode when Omni-Man met the heroes. Uh, but, oh my god, that was so fucking good! It's a real shame that I don't play Mortal Kombat, and it's not really a big shame, because I don't, I don't enjoy the game. And it's fine to not enjoy things, but still, like, you know, keep up with them. This is where I don't blame anyone else for liking Mortal Kombat. It's just not for me, but... Omni Man, you guys are eating well, man. I it looks like they did Omni Man very well. I hope he's not trash in the game. I hope he's really good because lore wise, he definitely should be. And I like how again, I really like how they included so many things that are lore accurate to the show. Where he's like, oh, I claim this universe or this dimension for the Viltrumite Empire. Like that's so fucking good, bro. It's so good. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the reaction. I really enjoyed this. I love Omni Man and Mortal Kombat. Like I said, it's getting so ridiculous. I don't necessarily hate it. I actually sort of like it, but it's like, what the fuck are we even doing anymore? But it's still good. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed, and I hope everyone comes to my Twitch channel, Twitch TV Sustainable Show.